Kings and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd be a genius and follow every other booty, booty, beauty guru. And I know you can hear my dog barking and like do the intro with my makeup on so you can see the look that I'm going to do. So this is my look for today. It's kind of like a mm, grungy gray and red and pink Valentine's Day look. I went ham on the blush and it's on purpose. <laughs> And I uh, got some great products on today. I used one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, which is from ColourPop. Um, this is one of the only colors I have in Petite Four. It's so pretty. So I love that. And I've got my NYX Cosmetics eyeliners and Vivid Brights on. Um, my highlight is Makeup Revolution and Morphe's Champagne Pop. Not Champagne Pop, Champagne Nights, you know, it's not the, not the cosmetics one. I keep hitting my mirror, um, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's not annoying, but I tried a different setup for videoing today, so I hope that um, you enjoy it. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, for today's look, we're going to start out by priming the face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil-Free in the pore minimizing. It's very silicone and it looks a lot like the NYX pore filler primer. Actually, I was surprised. I thought it might be a little bit different. I'm gonna just pat that in the T-zone and wipe it onto the face. Okay, next we're gonna go in with our Kat Von D Locket Concealer in L5 Neutral. We're just going to use that to cover up any blemishes, red spots on my cheeks, and that kind of thing. And we're going to use a Morphe E20 brush to just buff that right into the face. And adjust my nose ring, of course. I don't know why I do it, it always changes anyway. Okay, so we're going to our Mark by Mark Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. And paint that on the face, and then we're gonna use our foundation brush, which is a Morphe E31 brush, to pat that into the skin. I'm gonna pat slash use circular motions to get that blended onto the skin. You want to make sure you get that on the eyes and also down the chin. And make a face, that helps a lot. And we're going to go in with L3 Neutral. Yeah, L3 neutral, which is slightly lighter to highlight the under eye, conceal any dark circles, and highlight the high planes of the face. So the bridge of the nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and the tip of the chin. And for that, we're going to go in with an E7, which is basically just a small version of the previous foundation brush and blend that in. Does everybody make weird faces when they do this? Because I didn't realize I made such weird faces. To set the under eye, we're going to take another Morphe brush. Which one? The E20 again. And set that with some Makeup Forever Translucent Loose Powder, the HD High Definition Powder. I kind of like how smoky it looks. <laughs> You're also going to use that to set anywhere that you concealed earlier. Then we're going to take our Anastasia Beverly Hills con Contour Stick in the shade Shadow, which is such a beautiful cool, cool tone shade. I'm going to put that in anywhere where I want to slim down the face or make it look like I have 
you know, actual cheekbones. And we're going to take that E7 again and go ahead and blend that out. For this, I'm using circular motions. Make sure your neck is nice and blended so it doesn't look like you have a weird line under your chin. Okay, then we're going to go into our Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium and take that middle shade there. And we're going to take that on a blush brush from the Morphe Rose Gold palette, or Morphe Rose Gold brush collection, hello and go ahead and take that down the cheekbone. I use my glasses as a guide, but it's also in line with the indent of your eye and where your little hair goes down in front of your ear, so you can use that as a guide also. And we're just gonna put that color everywhere that we put the contour stick. Again, make sure it's blended. Then to deepen the contour on the cheeks, we're going to go into that darker brown color in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and just get that on the very top part of the cheekbone where you think the deepest shadow should be. Make sure you get that into the hairline, otherwise it looks like you have some weird cheek area there. And just blend that with circular motions up into the original contour. Then we're going to take this light color up in the contour palette and go ahead and set every other part of the face that I didn't put the contour colors on. This is another of the rose gold collection brushes. I'm going to take a big puffy brush, fluffy powder brush from Icing by Claire's. It's part of their bamboo brush collection, which is actually really legit. We're going to set the face, let that all melt together while we do the eyes with our Urban Decay Cooling Setting Spray. This stuff is amazing. It's called the Chill Makeup Setting Spray Cooling and Hydrating. So amazing, especially if you're sweaty. Okay, we're going to go in. <laughs> we're going to try to go in with our <laughs> NYX Cosmetics Eyeshadow Base in ESBO2. No, that's not right. White Pearl. I love this eyeshadow base because it's thicker, so it holds um, like glitters and things like that. But also, if you use a matte eyeshadow on top of it, it, transform it and transforms it into a shimmer shadow, which I just think is super pretty, especially for Valentine's Day looks, which is why I used it today. I like to apply it with a brush and then pat it in with my fingers, just to make sure it's set and everything is good to go. And you won't move it around too much when you put some powder on top. Okay, we're gonna go into our Morphe 35C palette into that light gray color, and we're just gonna do that from the crease up to the brow bone, darkest at the crease, and blend up to the brow bone a little bit. And take it a little bit beyond where the eye ends, so it's a bit of a wing, as we are gonna wing it later with some liner. can blend it into the inner crease or the inner corner of the eye and also make sure it's on the outer probably third of the eye as well as a base color. We're going to go into our Lime Crime China Doll palette into that red color which is called Fly Dragon Fly, which is so fabulous. We're going to take a Morphe teeny tiny brush and just put that in the crease as well, but don't blend it up as far. So you wanna get that red pay color payoff right in the crease. I believe that was an E36 brush, which is a great pencil brush, good for going in the crease. I apply it in the crease with my eyes open so I can really see where it goes. Oh, I popped the other one on off camera, you're welcome. And just make sure you've got the color payoff and the blend. Then 
we're going to take uh, another Morphe brush. It's a fluffy blending brush from their Black Rose Gold collection. I don't think it has a name on it, but it's great. Little fluffy eyeshadow brush. And use that without any pigment on it just to blend out all the rough edges at the top and the bottom of the crease. Then we're going to take another eyeshadow brush from the Rose Gold palette and go into the Lime Crime China Doll palette into the Lotus Noir black color, which is a great black eyeshadow. It's super black. We're just going to pack that onto the lid. Take it right up to your red crease color and blend it there. Hope you guys can hear my dogs barking in the background. A constant struggle. <laughs> they are in the backyard. Apparently doesn't help very much. And we're going to take some of that black and put it along the lower lash line as well. Most of the way to the tear duct. Okay. And then to get our liner on, we're going to use the NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner. Let's see what color this is. Vivid Petal, which is the pastel pink. So pretty. And we're just going to put that along the lash line. Make sure it goes all the way down to the lashes so there's no weird black line in between. Look how bright that is. I love it. We'll do the other side. Make sure it's nice and opaque. Sometimes when you're drawing the line, it can remove the product when you go over it again. So I kind of like to let it dry and then put it on a second layer to make sure it's totally opaque. Okay, now we're going to just do a little inner eye corner with this NYX blush. And I just use a small pencil brush from Morphe and put that just from the tear duct into the very inner corner of the eye. Okay, we're going to go in with our Marc Jacobs uh, Volume Noir Mascara. That next blush, by the way, was their HDB24 Electro High Definition Blush. This is a little bit old, so I'm not sure if they make it anymore, but any hot pink color will work for that. We'll work our mascara onto the lashes, top and bottom. Make sure you get those outer edge mas lashes with the mascara. I have a rough time with that, but it just takes a little bit of extra effort to get there. And we'll do the bottom lashes while we're at it. I don't wiggle the brushes much side to side when I'm doing them because I feel like it causes more mascara to deposit under the eye. So I just do like straight down the lash. We're going to wipe off any extra powder, any fallout from the eyeshadows, which was actually surprisingly minimal. I usually do my eyeshadow first and then my face, but I wanted to try it this way and I was happily surprised with how it turned out. All right, we're going to go back in with that blush. This step, you can totally check. You can totally skip it. Do like a, a subtle pink blush if you want. Um, but I kind of wanted to go for some alien, you know, Valentine's Day vibes today. So I'm just going to take that blush and go ham on it. So basically on top of the apples of the cheeks, up the contour, and basically on the high points of my face where I would also put my highlight, which I will do. Um, and you want to build up that color because who doesn't want hot pink blush all over their face? Tip of the nose is great to get that cute anime kind of look. Okay, and we're going to blend it out with our puffy brush again. And I put that blush on just with a Morphe blush brush from their rose gold collection. Okay, then to chill it down a little bit, we're going to go in with our Vivid Baked Highlighter Powder from 
Makeup Revolution, and it's in the color Radiant Lights, which is a really pretty light pink color. We're going to put that on the high planes of our face, on the top of our cheeks, on the forehead, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, and uh, tip of the chin. This kind of also cancels out the insanity of the blush a little bit. So it's not quite as bright as when I put it on originally. Okay, we're going to go in with another icing brush. This is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Icing and add some Champagne Nights from Morphe on there. It's a pressed pigment and it's gorgeous. Though I will say it's very chalky, but it's super cute as a pigment. Fix my nose ring again. Septum rings, why you do this? Add another layer of our chill setting spray. Make sure everything stays nice and fabulous. Glasses on, and it is time for some brows. So, we're going to do the Benefit Gimme Brow in color five. Okay, we're going to highlight the brow bone with that Champagne Nights from Morphe, same icing brush as before. And then we're going to take our Vivid Brights um, eyeliner from NYX again and go ahead and wing it out on the line. Like I said, I do my eyeliner wings with my glasses on. It just helps me line them up. It's really hard to see both sides of your face when you're literally a centimeter away from the <laughs> mirror to see yourself. Um, so I find it a lot easier. Easy tip for you if you wear glasses. Just do your wings with the glasses on. For lip color today, we're going to do with a ColourPop Ultra Matte in Petite 4. Oh, gorgeous, great color. This is so easy to wear. Beautiful, great formula. Uh, I flipping love this color. I also like how it looks when I just did the top lip. I think that's cool. <laughs> okay. All right, just clean up with a little Q-tip. Make sure it's a nice sharp line down there. Check myself out, and that's it. I hope you.